Hi, this is Marla Althaus with WatermoreSolutions.com. I am here today to talk about what to do with your drain pump when you're done with it. Well, obviously you can take it and you can discard it if you want, but there might be a better use for it, such as uh, reusing it for another birth, give it to your midwife, it can be recycled and reused, which reused is a good way to go. So uh, for, all, for the intent of the purpose of this video, uh, we have drained the pool, although not 100%, but um, just to demonstrate what goes on next. After you're done with your, your draining, you pull out the drain pump and you set it into a bucket of clean water. And then you plug it back in. And now your hose is still pointed out wherever you wanted the discard to go. And basically this just allows the pump and the water to be rinsed. So again, I just go to the wall and I plug it in. Once this bucket is empty, I'm going to fill the bucket back up with some water and 1% bleach solution. Well, the, the solution itself is 1% bleach solution. And then I'm going to take the hose and coil it all up. So I'm going to cut away and we're going to come back and show you the hose totally curled up inside the bucket. And the whole purpose of that is to allow the hose and the uh, drain pump to be recirculated around with 1% bleach solution. So we will come back in just a second. Hi, we are back now. Uh, we have already drained a one solid bucket, like roughly three to five gallons of clean water through our drain pump and hose, d uh, discard hose. And now we're gonna actually take the entire hose into a 1% bleach solution that we place back in the bucket and our, our drain pump is, dro is dropped in here. In fact, the little suction cups are hanging onto it. So it's straight into the bucket. Um, I move this portion up a little bit so I can curl the hose around. And then I'm going to, I'm basically going to take the entire hose and curl it around and put it inside the, the, um, the bucket so that basically the, the bleach solution will circulate over and over and over because I'm going to turn this drain pump on as soon as I get the hose. It's a little bit uh, tricky, but you can just coil the hose and have it mix down inside of the bucket without making too big a mess. Once you get this hose inside, you are going to allow the bleach solution to run in your pump for about three to five minutes. And notice that I've submerged the hose mainly, but specifically the end of the hose. So that, that bleach solution is going to go and clean the entire insides of the pump, the insides of the hose, and it's also um, just going to disinfect everything in here. So after I get this done, I can come over here to the wall and plug in. The drain pump which will start it up again which is very quiet it'll just sit here and run you can set a timer for three minutes and then once the timer is off just let the let the bucket sit here for five minutes and now your your drain pump and your hose has been sanitized you can um, drop uh, empty out the bleach solution it can go right down the toilet or a drain and you can even store the hose and the drain pump in this um, in this bucket until your next use. And in general, a drain hose and a drain, a drain pump only touches gray water. So there is no cross-contamination issues. You're never going to put this into a fresh, clean pool. You're only going to be using this particular piece of equipment once the pool has been used and you're dealing with gray water. If you have any questions or concerns with this, please give us a call at waterbirthsolutions.com. You can email us or call anytime. Thank you.